An ABC News medical contributor, physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Lok Patel, is here with more on this. Uh, Dr. Patel, what should parents do if their kids do get their hands on one of these products? Diane, off the bat, if kids get their hands on these products, even without any symptoms at all, parents should call Poison Control. 1-800-222-1222. It's easy enough to remember that or seek medical care immediately. But also, parents should be well aware of just how ubiquitous these products are and know that even a small amount of Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the psychoactive component in marijuana, can cause a lot of symptoms in kids, such as vomiting, dizziness, a fast heart rate, confusions, even seizures or a coma with a high enough dose. And so when in doubt, if there's any issues with a loss of consciousness or changes in breathing, parents should just call 911 immediately. Now, we talk about the harmful impacts, potential impacts on kids, but these products can also be dangerous for adults. So what do you recommend people watch out for? I think off the bat, with any product sub supplement, any substance that you're going to be ingesting to make sure you absolutely know what you're taking and read that label. Some things that people can do is be aware of any unlicensed sellers or distributors, especially in, in certain states. Buy through legal channels. In states where cannabis products are legalized, buying from an illegal source is still against the law. Online retailers obviously do not have the same type of regulation standards. Products may be inconsistent. And Diane, some states like California and New York actually do have state government cannabis websites where you can get more information. And people just need to know what they're taking. For example, if you go online, I did this earlier, you may find a bag of THC potato chips where the entire bag is 35 milligrams. I found another one where the entire bag was 600 milligrams. So inadvertently taking both of those bags could lead to completely different outcomes. Now, now there are some efforts underway in Congress to regulate some of these products. So what's your biggest concern as a doctor? You know, my biggest concern is that as of right now, if you look across the country, there is no consistency when it comes to quality and regulation. Now, any type of for forward pushing progress and legislation can not only improve safety, but may improve the quality for consumers and also research so we can better understand some of the intended dosage effects, long term consequences of ingestion. And we may be able to unpack a lot of the questions regarding medical marijuana. In January, the FDA did spark some interest in wanting to form like a cannabis product committee, which be, would be a really good step forward. And we may just get more information about the fact that THC is everywhere and we need to do something about it, especially because if you look at data from 2017 to 2021, ingestion incidents went up about a thousand percent in kids with 98 percent of them happening in the home. So aside from us needing more research and regulation, parents just need to be on the lookout. So, Dr. Patel, in the meantime, while you wait for those potential regulations, what's your advice to your patients? My advice to patients, now I'm talking, I can't give advice to toddlers because they won't listen. My advice to parents is to keep products, if they're using them, safely away from kids in the same way they would keep any dangerous household chemical cleaner or product. And to be very aware of the fact that these products are designed in a way that might be appealing to kids. It may mimic things such as cereal or candy and to realize that THC or CBD, another component of marijuana, those edibles may come in the form of candy, could also be liquid, resin, vape fumes, and all of those may have different effects. And a small amount of THC can hit a young body of a toddler very differently than an adult who may have taken products in the past. So be very cognizant about all of this. All right, great point, Dr. Lok Patel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.